fight almost like that. Like our first fight. You spilled the beer on my backpack. Is this the We've been to Ranguana for three days and we were so unlucky that the ride was bumpy and we arrived and it started to be so windy and it started to rain and it brought such waves that you know we couldn't sleep, we couldn't be on the boat so we had to be on the island and now we came back to Placencia and it was just perfect Exploring the Leeds Today we're going inland But it will be different and there is no surprise. There is a little surprise? For, for Gabika. <gasps> it's about 40 minutes to get out. Like we can hop over if we had a dinghy or if we could put a car on the... That. So we have to go all the way around. Toledo, referred to as Forgotten Land by the locals, is the southernmost district in Belize. It is filled with rainforests, mountains, waterfalls and Maya ruins. Toledo is home to a wide range of cultures such as Maya, Garifuna and Mennonites. Often confused for being Amish, the Mennonites are only partially integrated in modern society. They can be easily recognized by their old-fashioned clothing. They produce organic products such as fruits and vegetables, beef, poultry and dairy. And a lot of the food products on the store shelves come from their farms. It looks like boobies. <laughs> it looks like boobies. The Belize Spice Farm was founded by the Matthews, an American couple born and raised in Kerala, India. And, uh, if you guys just want to take pictures of the farm there, then that's for free. But okay. If you want to go around on the tour, it's 20 US per person. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Lunch, we also have spicy. Kerala in India was the original destination of Christopher Columbus, who was searching for an easy route to India in order to trade for its spices, but instead he discovered a new world. The climate in Belize mirrors that of Kerala, so the Matthews decided to import spices such as black pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, clove and vanilla from India and started the farm in Belize. Over the years, the spice farm also became a botanical garden by adding exotic plants such as tropical fruit trees from India or water lilies from Thailand and Brazil. This is Punta Gorda. Very dusty. But it's not the Yeah, so this is the um, cacao pot. That's already stripped. So this is a dark milk chocolate. Crazy. And uh, what's 
don't think about it. Why did the lesion? Just correct everything I said. It seems like a fight. Are we fighting? It's some, it was like almost like that. It was like our first fight. Life. There are over 30 Maya villages scattered throughout southern Belize. They lie along riverbanks and creeks and are surrounded by beautiful mountains and rainforests. The lifestyle of the Mayas is very basic. They live in thatched huts, most of them without electricity or central water supply. Women cook, make woven embroidery and can be often spotted washing their laundry in the nearby river. Plain frack. Let's go, babe. You look like the... Who's I am? I forgot her name. Plain. Craft. You're like the craft. Like Laura craft. So, craft. Blonde Laura craft. That's what we should call you. We're going in. You have to cross the river of Nirvana. We actually put on shoes <clears throat> so that the snakes don't bite us. Wow. No way. We're monitoring jaguars. <gasps> I knew it! Got to a very cool wildlife sanctuary in Belize. There you go, baby. What? What the hell? You want me to carry this? Yeah. You spilled the beer on my back? No, it's just sweat. You spilled the beer on my backpack. It's just the sweat. We didn't take any food with us and. Uh, down where we bought the tickets, they said they would have snacks here. Of course, they don't. So the only thing we have is a little beer. bit of uh, watermelon and a couple of beers. So we started with the beer because I think that's gonna keep it's already, us. It's already past fed twelve, and uh, it'll give us a lot of energy. <laughs> so luckily for you, I'm not hungry. Yeah. Because you don't want to. And see me she's hungry. not exaggerating. We're taking the Tiger Fern Trail. It's two kilometers, and then. We should reach the uh, waterfalls, it says too. To experience a tropical forest, we decided to visit the Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary and Jaguar Preserve. It covers 150 square miles of rainforest and with 200 jaguars, it is the only jaguar preserve in the world. Dan, what are these noises? You may see the signs of a jaguar, but it is very unlikely to spot a jaguar. It is a difficult, steep climb, especially in the hot climate, but it's worth it. So far we haven't seen any snakes or spiders, and I hope it will stay like that. It's like 300 million degrees. At the top of the ridge, you are in for a stunning view, which overlooks the entire wildlife sanctuary and the Maya mountains with the second highest mountain in Belize called Victoria Peak.
We continued down to the valley and discovered two waterfalls where you can cool down, take some pictures and even swim. We made it! Wow. It's a sad day. We <clears throat> had two beers, drank one, carried the other one all the way to the beautiful falls, cooled it in the Gold River, and when I was opening it, I broke the lid. Now we can't drink it. Baby, how sad are you? But she'll be fine. It's been, it's been only two hours since the last feeding. This is the last of the Mohicans that we have. <clears throat> Gas ran out. It's already dark. Cooking dinner. So what I'm gonna do? Change it and then hope for the best. That we're gonna get somebody to uh, it smells a little bit. Thanks a million for watching and make sure to subscribe. It's horrible. How much did we climb now? Like a thousand feet.